Hello, my name is Rosanna. Welcome to this week's video on how to turn a mediocre life into a magical one. Let's face it, sometimes life can be a complete bag of shit and sometimes it can be pure gold. But what if I told you that within this bag of shit lies your gold? Today I want to help you to understand how to turn mediocre into magic. If you're unsatisfied in any area of your life right now, your money, your love, your health, would you call it mediocre? If you would, let's turn it into magic. So turning shit into gold or mediocre into, mari into marriage, into magic, all begins with acceptance. Acceptance for exactly where you are and who you are, loving yourself deeply and completely. Understanding that every moment in your life has led you to where you are now and you have tried your best with what you have, haven't you? I know that I have. It's time to read between the lines. When you're creating a magical life, two keys are awareness and gratitude. Awareness of the stories and the patterns that are playing out in your life right now. Why, this is why you continue to create mediocre, your patterns and conditioning. Awareness for the emotions that these patterns keep bringing up in your life. What do you need to look at that you're avoiding? Because whatever that is, within that, lies your gold there is your magic and gratitude because within the lines are so many moments and experiences to be grateful for the magic they may not seem obvious at first but these are your magic moments they can be gifts and blessings or disguised as lessons a blessing can be as simple as a butterfly floating past you on a beautiful sunny day watching your cat trying to catch it. This is what I experienced yesterday. And it can be as big as healing from cancer or purchasing your first Chanel handbag. A magical moment can be anything you want it to be. It can also be a health scare, an awakening, the moment a diagnosis turns your life upside down. This can be a magic moment because it shows you that change is on the way, you need to change to get in touch with your magical future. It can be a breakup or a failed business. All of these moments can be magic if you let them. And I don't mean by bypassing the emotions that you feel and go straight to what a blessing that was. I mean showing up with full acceptance for what you're experiencing, feeling every emotion to its core, meeting yourself with love and compassion. Eventually, you will naturally come to what a magic moment that was. Thank goodness for that lesson. Now, this is exactly why most people's lives remain mediocre. Because they don't look for the magic moments. They don't read between the lines of their life. They simply focus on the shit, calling in more and more mediocre. And here is where the magic really begins to happen. Because when you become a seeker of magic, you become a seeker of truth. You align with the universe and your energetic frequency starts to send out transmissions of magic. Because your body is electromagnetic and your mind is creating your reality, this is science, you can look it up, you will begin to call in more and more magical moments. Then the beautiful effect of compounding means that your life will, over time and with single pointed focus on magic, become more magical. Voila, you have turned your mediocre life into a magical one. Now this is important. It does not mean that your life will feel rosy all the time and you will still have to do hard things and you will still cry. But wouldn't you say that part of the wonder of being human is the vast array of experiences we get to experience and the vast array of emotions that come with those experiences? I know that you love to cry at a rom-com and I know that you secretly love expressing your anger. 
all emotions are totally okay and no emotion is good or bad. Allow yourself to feel them all fully. You won't stay there. A client of mine who was suffering from depression told me that one of the worst parts for her of being on antidepressants was that she couldn't feel anything. She was numb. And so sometimes she would actually prefer to feel the extreme highs and the lows rather than numbing herself with a pill. We are human. Emotions are a blessing, even if sometimes they are uncomfortable. The trick to not getting caught and stuck in the lows is to remain in awareness, being the observer of what is going on around you and within your mind, allowing yourself to be human and to feel everything. And then once the emotion has passed through your being, declaring your openness to magic and discovering your next magic moment, it becomes like a scavenger hunt, a scavenger hunt for a magical life. And I believe that knowingly or unknowingly, we are all seeking a magical life. If you are working towards a magical life and perhaps you're calling in a goal, wish or dream that you have, then join me and a group of, magic, of magical beings uh, for a super fun night of magic and mischief. I'm hosting a masterclass that goes deeper into manifesting your desires than you have ever been before. Take a trip into your subconscious mind and see your goal through flawless vision. By the end of the call, you will know exactly what is holding you back and how to overcome it. Your vision will be so clear that it can't not manifest in your life and you will know your clear next steps of inspired action. The class will give you practical tools that you can use again and again to help you see your magical life manifest, allowing magic to be your guide and mischief to be your secret. It's what a fun life is all about. You can learn more and sign up through the link below. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more content like this, where I help you create a magical life and get in touch with the infinite possibilities that are available to you, please subscribe and leave me a comment with your biggest insights and takeaways. I am here to support you and I am so grateful for your ongoing support. Thank you very much and have a beautiful week.